and welcome back to Mistake Week in GTA Online. So as I said in the last video, another weekly update has dropped and this week you can get the Drift Yosemite from the podium. So, first of all, why is this part of Mistake Week? And why am I talking about mistakes two and three? Well, mistake two is obviously this car. I bought this, oh, months ago at the LS car meet. We were doing the usual trading kind of thing. And this guy brought this in, which is obviously modded to hell uh, with the F1s on. And I thought, you know what? With the wide arches, the F1s actually look okay on this. So I bought it. You idiot. Brilliant. And then I got it away from the LS car meet and I realised it glitched a load of other stuff on there as well, including the Patriot smoke and it put the drift tune on it, which made it absolutely awful. So yeah. Now, you will be pleased to know, I have had a little bit of a fettle with this now since buying it and then, you know, sobering up and looking at it the next day and thinking Oh, I'm gonna throw up, dog! Man, that's disgusting. I've actually been back in and now it looks like this. But getting back to the lap, I thought this would be an interesting thing to do, is look at what difference the F1 wheels actually make. Are they going to make a significant difference to this lap? So we'll see that at the end, but what's my review of the car in the meantime? Well, again, unless you're doing the drift racing, this is another one of those cars that you buy because you want. Because, let's be honest, it's not that good at anything. It's not particularly quick. It doesn't handle particularly well. It's not as bad as the slam truck in terms of handling, but you know, it's not great. It's not great at all. Customization wise, it's pretty decent. You can do a lot to it. Obviously, this is based on the Huna truck, so you could do a full on Huna truck build if you wanted to. I've gone for something slightly different because I've already got my Huna car in another garage, so I thought I'd go for something slightly different with this one. But yeah, there is a decent amount of customization, but performance wise, it is slow, um, it doesn't handle brilliantly. It is another one of the cars that does take the drift tune, but I'll be totally honest, but with this one, unless you want to do the drift races, I won't actually bother with the drift tune, because this is actually really easy to drift anyway. All you need to do is just is whack the handbrake on and mash the accelerator, and you'll be in a really good, controllable, genuine drift, not an artificial one that's caused by the game by just removing all grip. So yeah, if, you, if you're into drifting just in free mode, then this is, yeah, this is definitely a must buy. And another reason to buy it is you really can make it look really cool. Please don't do what I did. Don't buy one from the LS car me with the F1s glitched on because I, I don't know what was going through my head when I bought it, but I suspect it was. Beer. So we'll have a quick look at the top speed, though I'm not expecting great things from this. Now I said in the intro we were covering mistakes two and three, so what was mistake three? Oh, well, that was just another one of mine, really. It turns out at some point in the last six months when I've moved my studio around, I fitted my microphone in the wrong way around. So that explains why my audio is sometimes being a little bit dire and why I need to have the microphone inside my mouth in order for it to pick up what I'm saying. So that's all now sorted and hopefully the audio in this video is a lot better than what you've been used to over the last couple of months so apologies for that. It turns out I'm a total dipstick. And as we come round here, what's our final thoughts and review? Um, honestly, it's probably worth winning. It's not a particularly expensive car. I did think it was deleted, but I, I, apparently I was wrong. It isn't deleted. So you can go and buy it. I think it's about 400 grand, which isn't a huge amount. So it's worth trying to win it if you want it. But if you don't win it, you know, no harm done. 400 grand is nothing if you really want this thing. And here's the time this will manage to do. And here's the time I managed to do with my version now. One thing I will say, even though the one in my version is a little bit slower, 
Mine wasn't a particularly clean lap the second time round, and I honestly think if I did a clean lap in my new one, I think I'd be pretty close to what the original one did. So in terms of whether the F1s actually make any difference to grip, I don't know, I haven't looked into it. But they certainly don't seem to make a significant difference on cars like this, at least. And here's where it all sits on the lapboard. So I hope that was useful, and I will see you all in the next one.